Hey YouTubers, it's Fix It With Biscuit here, and uh, what we got here is the lathe, and what I wanted to show you guys is my tool post holder. Uh, this is a real cool design, and of course I keep always going the wrong way. It'll, uh, you can put four, well it says that you can put four in it, but there's no way. Uh, you can put three in it at once, I, I think, possibly. But anyways, uh, it goes one way, so you like this, and it's got a stopper that stops it. But I bought a quick change tool post holder, and it I bought it from Grizzly, and it's a 17 piece. I think I misspoke, I misspoke, <laughs> misspoke before and said it was a 14, and uh, it was supposed to fit right on here it didn't say that it wouldn't anyways i guess i should say um i won't need that there probably won't even need that but we're gonna leave it anyways so um what i ch checked uh, that's a massive block of metal and it will not go through there so I had to figure out how to get it to, <laughs> I had to build one of these basically is what I'm trying to say, I guess. And beings that, uh, it's 10 millimeters for this piece here. And I wanted to use this still instead of having a nut and having a wrench on the top. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And uh, so I had to take, and I bought a 10 millimeter bolt from the hardware store and then I had to weld another one on it to get it the exact length that I needed so that's what that is but the other thing is is this base here the bolt is way too big so I couldn't use that and it's got this insert in here that goes to that bolt it goes on there and keeps it from wobbling so which you can see all this brass shavings and everything I made a brass insert that drops in there and then I set it up here like that I got my uh, handy dandy trusty new uh, bolt that I had made And I don't know how well this is going to work because uh, I'm not a machinist, really. I mean, this is all learning to me. I don't know if two uh, sticks on here are going to be a problem. And I need to make this bottom here wider so it catches. And that way when I screw it down, that bottom uh catches on the sides because right now i kind of have to stuff something in there and hold it which this, this is all just test anyways uh alrighty and then i can tighten it down and then tighten the tool post down too and then I can spin it to where I want it, tighten it down, so there, and then the posts are holding it, held and everything. And then if I wanted to loosen this, I don't have to loosen the top one to take it off the way I made it. It still stays firm. I'm thinking it's going to work. I, I mean, I don't know if one of these are going to get in the way but i can always unscrew this off the top if it gets in my way i guess so i just wanted to show you guys i know i'm not technically speaking the language of uh tool post holder or whatever but the reason why i wanted to go with these quick change is for being able to use and i know this isn't uh this is Oh, this is a parting tool and a regular one, so which would be fine. Um, I just grabbed one off of here.
here. But anyways, the reason why I wanted to use this is this right here. I can take and if I can, there we go, adjust the height of my tool without shimming it or anything. That's the reason why I really wanted these is for running, if you want to run a quarter inch uh, or three eighths, or I can run up to half inch on these, um, high speed steel or carbide insert or uh, brazed on. So that way you can get your dead center. So that way it'll cut exactly where you want it. And then you just lock it down and it doesn't move. I know my table's a little wobbly, but um, when it's cutting, it doesn't bounce around or anything. So, yep, that's just a little mod I did. I didn't, you know, one of these days I'll actually uh, put a whole video together of showing me doing it all at once. But right now I just kind of, uh, I forget about putting that dang camera on. I do lots of things. Lots of cool stuff, and I forget about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.